Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at this secret location. It took us a while to get to, so I wanted to bring you extra Honda goodness from where we're at. And what do we have? We have an updated Honda favorite for many people. This vehicle right here, what is it? It's a 2024 Honda Passport Trail Sport Edition. But before we get into this two row midsize SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. Honda. They're going through their lineup. They're making some big changes. Well, guess what? Some of their models are not ready for the ultimate of changes, but they wanted to make some updates to increase that Honda driving enjoyment. Now, when it comes to the Passport, Passport is interesting because when you think about the landscape out there, and I'm not talking about like a scenic landscape, I'm talking about the landscape of the auto industry. It seems that everybody and their mother is shifting to midsize SUVs that have three rows. Well, guess what? The Passport, still being in Honda's lineup, is a two-row midsize SUV. And what's fascinating is, is that they're, they're continuing the pedigree of making these upgrades, but also opening up a bunch of HPD, Honda Performance Development products for the Passport. So what I want to do is, is I want to show you some of the things that are different. I also want to talk about some of the additions that you can make. And at the end of the day, I want to find out if you're looking for a two row midsize SUV, is the Passport the way to go? Let's go ahead. Let's dive into this trail sport and find out. Right off the bat, when it comes to style, I really feel like Honda did it right when they refreshed the Passport just a short couple years ago. And it all started at the front, like we showed you before, that LED daytime running lamp, really clean style, nice glow to it. Working our way down, you have those LED projector beam headlights. And with this being a trail sport edition, you're gonna get a different fascia, front fascia, than what you find on your standard passport. Now the great news is, get your passport ready for a trip, because there's a new trim that's coming to the lineup known as the Black Edition, which stay tuned, we will be bringing you that one as well, but that has things like 20 inch gloss black wheels, a bunch of nice black accents, and some real niceties on the interior. Now, when we look back at our trail sport, you can see those functional corner air curtains. Of course, we're gonna have lighting down below. I am gonna have to zonk it because I could see Thomas Edison in there rocking in his rocking chair because we have those old fashioned bulbs. And then down, down below, we do have the fog lamps. So I'm happy that we finished on a high note on the corner of the trail sport. Now, as we drift in, in front of that massive Honda badge, that Flav of Flav, he would get rid of the clock that he's wearing around his neck and he would have this Honda badge prominently displayed. That's how massive it is. You do have your gunmetal metallic gray grill we got the Trail Sport badge with the Colorado Rockies. That's what that represents. And then working our way down, you'll notice that we have some flat black, some more of that gun metal. And the great news is you're gonna get more ground clearance on the Trail Sport. Now, I mentioned HPD and I mentioned accessories. With that HPD catalog, you could actually get metal skid plates, not plastic, not styrofoam, metal skid plates underneath this vehicle to protect those inner bits as you're off-roading. So that's kind of showing more of that off-road potential, which a lot of people are wanting in their Honda Passport. Now, as we rise up on the Passport Trail Sport trim, you do have the gloss black brow, and then we have that nice clean hood. All you have are those sharp edges, and then they kind of boomerang towards the A pillars. Now, as we come around the bend, here's where we're gonna see something new on a Passport. So on this Trail Sport, you're gonna find the updated wheel, looking good. I love the gunmetal metallic gray finish to it. And then you're also gonna notice that we have these general grabber all-terrain tires. Real deal, off-road tire, first time on a Passport. And I like the way it's got the shielding all the way around to protect that sidewall. This is an 18 inch wheel, 245 on the width, 60 series sidewall, and they went ahead and reworked the suspension to help with that wheel travel and with the absorption of the bumps 
and all the different things that are going to try to upset the chassis, they wanted to counteract that. And that's why they retuned the chassis and the suspension for the Trail Sport for model year 2024. You still get the flat black around the fender opening, which makes sense because this is the off-road spec Passport. And then coming down the side, you're going to get your gloss black on your mirror caps, your LED turn singles. I love the way they have those gunmetal metallic gray roof rails. They're raised so you could get your cargo carrier up there. You could get your kayak carrier, whatever you have. You could put it up top, color matched on the door handles. Flat black along the midsection. I'm so happy that they did flat black because obviously if you're off-roading, this is going to take a better beating as you're going down your favorite trails. And then as we work our way towards the rear, you're going to find that we have that nice roof spoiler. Extends out, super clean. Great job on the LED taillights. And I love the way they did the Passport badge in black. That gloss black brow, just like up front on the rear with your Honda badge. And then we have that Trail Sport all-wheel drive. And remember, 70% of that power can be sent to the rear wheels. So this is front wheel drive based, but power could be sent to the rear wheels up to 70%. Now, as we work our way back down, you're going to get very nice looking exhaust, stainless steel tip, kind of an angled slash cut, that metallic gunmetal finish in the center to wrap it off, and very, very unique color that comes on the trail sport only. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and talk horsepower of this Passport. All right, guys, we have the hood popped on this Passport. Now, the great news is some of the other competition brands to Honda are switching to turbocharged four-cylinder engines, smaller displacement engines. Guess what? On the Passport, you're still getting that naturally aspirated V6. So what do we have? We have a 3.5 liter V6 producing 280 horsepower, 262 pound-feet of torque. It's mated to a nine-speed automatic transmission. The vehicle weighs around 4,229 pounds. MPGs, you're looking around 20 in the city, 24 on the highway, and you could tow up to 5,000 pounds with your passport. Now, I know that's going to be a big hit for a lot of people because we've seen it in the comment section, looking at the other brands that are switching to these smaller displacement engines but it's nice to see that naturally aspirated V6. But while we go ahead, it's time to get into the interior because there's some changes and updates that are taking place in this 2024 Passport. All right, guys, we're inside this 2024 Honda Passport Trail Sport. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I keep forgetting about the Passport. I remember my sister, when she was in college, she had a Passport and it looked like an Isuzu. But I'm really liking this. Well, guess what? There's a reason why it looked like an Isuzu is because Isuzu and Honda collaborated, and that's where the Passport came from. Same thing as the Isuzu Rodeo. So just something to think about when you hear about these participation cooperations of different OEMs. Now, no official pricing is available yet for 2024, but expect it to be very competitive and very close to where it is for model year 2023. But why don't we go ahead Let's see what you could put inside this Passport and what's different for the new model year to the door panels. I'm still loving the clean style, soft touch material. You got that, duh, that dark gunmetal gray finish. The armrest has nice soft padding with the orange contrast stitching. That's part of the Trail Sport package. You do have a perfect tray there for some Halloween spec Dunkin' Donuts. And then down below, that's where you're going to be able to get your Halloween Twinkies in there. Easily a baker's dozen and a cup of pumpkin spice latte in that cup holder. Now, going from the door panel to the dash, still that same soft material. Love the texturized finish that they got going on. You come on in, you're going to get that integrated infotainment system with navigation, all the usual apps that you're familiar with. So that's not gonna be a major change and confuse you. Real volume knob. I love the way as we work down, you got your dual climate control, controls for the heated seats. You do have another holder here, easily for some atomic fireballs, and you could sit hot like you're sitting on an atomic fireball. Three stages of heated seats, which are really nice. USB-A, USB-C. 
a 12 volt, and you have a wireless charging pad. Now, this whole center console area has been redesigned and resized for 2024 to give you more room. And one of those things where you're gonna see the room are these two cup holders. Yeah, you could get big Yeti cans in here, but I know those that love going and getting their super Slurpees, easily gonna fit in here, no problem. This is gonna control your nine speed automatic transmission. Love the way they did the material on the armrest with the stitching. Open this up and you could easily put, I would say, seven Rubik's cubes. So if you're going camping, one great way to keep people entertained is bring some Rubik's cubes with you. And you could be like, hey, we're not gonna go home until all these get solved. That's a fun game to play. Seats, soft material, the trail sport embroidery with the Rocky Mountains. I love the orange stitching. You do have uh, automatic seat controls for the passengers that are electric. I have electric seat controls and you have an oversized sunroof. It would be nice if there was a panoramic sunroof, but you gotta go different trim for that. But why don't you come over here to the business end? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this updated Passport. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have two memory seat settings for your Passport Trail Sport. You do get the Trail Sport spec all-weather floor mats. That's worth an extra five horsepower. You do have your electric seat controls easy to get to. And just like before, there's plenty of room up front, especially now with the way they reconfigured the center console area. Lots of headroom, steering wheel, love the leather, love the orange stitching, flat black on all the switch gear. You do have paddles to go up and down that nine speed automatic. It is a manual tilting and telescoping wheel. And then you're gonna have a nice large digital display, but also an analog coolant and fuel gauge to give you all the information that you need. But guess what? It's not just about the people up front. Let's get into the back seat and see if a mid-size two row SUV is what you need for your family. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, backseat time, and we are inside this two-row Passport. Love the amount of space back here. I just would like to see a little bit more of the sun and the clouds and the sky. Maybe a bluebird, a cardinal, a robin, maybe even a tufted titmouse. But anyways, the backs of the seats, soft material, super-sized pockets. You could easily get an abacus in there. Uh, a back scratcher, scratcher, all those manual things, a compass, not like a GPS system or something like that. Let's do a little bit of old school. What I like about the back seat though, is you do have some manual controls. You have sliding seats, which are great. And then of course, seats that recline just a little bit. It would be nice to recline a little bit more, especially if I'm trying to relax. You got your rear AC vents. The Zonk though is, look at this no rear AC controls. But the great news is we got a home power source, two USB-Cs. I got my own pocket over here for my own abacus. And then if any of the animals, you know, one thing that people don't understand, not all the animals look, they may look cute, but they're not as friendly as you think. One of those types of animals is a moose. So if you're off-roading and a moose is staring you down, manual, security shades so that the moose keeps on moving down the road and not crashing into the side of your passport trail sport. You do have, ooh, it's soft. It's just not a lot of real estate, but it, it, it works. Two cup holders on the armrest, all the stitching to let you know that this is a trail sport. But while we go ahead, I'm gonna prove it to you, damn it, how much room there is in a two row midsize SUV over a three row. Let's get back there. All right, guys, cargo area time, real nice. You're gonna hit the button on the bottom. You have that nice electric assist, opens up for you. And this is what I'm talking about. When you look at three row SUVs, I know a lot of people just wanna put the third row down and you say, Joe, it's just like this Passport. No, it's not because without a third row, you get rid of the seats, the seat belts and everything else in between. And that's where you maximize your space. So how much room do we have? You're looking at with those seats up, 41.2 cubic feet of space, fold the seats down, it's 77.7 cubic feet of space. The great news is if you need storage, they have storage for you. Not only once you put the seats down, can you get one of those giant Halloween skeletons that people put in their front yard that are like 12 feet tall. You could break it down and put it back here, but you also have a couple nooks. Perfect place for a gallon of Yoohoo. 
you do have a 12 volt power outlet, which is great. And then you have a nice little tray here. I would actually put a dog bowl here for my dog, Oscar. Let him drink some water. I'm not letting him drink Yoohoo, because chocolate's not good for dogs. But definitely some, some H2O for him to wet his whistle. Now, the other great part is that you have this storage area underneath. And what I was thinking when I first opened this up, this would be perfect for when you're going over your friends' houses and you're bringing all your old school game consoles. You could get an NES in here, you could get a Sega Master System, a Sega Genesis, and one that I bet a lot of people don't know about, the TurboGrafx-16. All those game consoles in here and games, and what's great about it is I like the way it clips down and you still have all that usable space up top. But you know what? I can't wait to take this off-road, especially with some skid plates from the HPD catalog and these off-road wheels, but we're gonna have to wait for that. But guess what? It's gonna be worth it. But until that day comes, let's wrap it up from this studio. All right, guys, it's been another great day out here in Detroit, Michigan. Always love coming back for more, especially when it comes to bringing you the latest in car details, especially with this 2024 Honda Passport. Want to thank everybody here for Honda for allowing us access to this vehicle. Let me know what you think. Has Honda created the perfect mid-size two-row SUV with the minor updates that they made? Or are you ready for a redesign? Let me know down in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. Obviously, we need to thank the hardest working person in the whole filming industry, Lori Givens Rady, working that camera like a champ. Thank you, Lori, for all that you're doing. Just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.